When your Yealink phone gets stuck on the initializing screen, it's usually pointing to one of several specific technical issues. Understanding these root causes will help you identify the right solution. The most common scenario is a phone that powers on, but never progresses past the initializing screen. This indicates the phone's startup process is failing at a critical point. Firmware issues are the number one cause of initialization problems. This includes corrupted firmware files, bugs introduced in recent updates, and compatibility conflicts between different firmware versions. Expansion modules like the EXP40, EXP50, and EXP43 can cause initialization problems, especially when connected to T4XU and T5XW series phones. These modules may get stuck on their own welcome screen during startup. Sometimes the issue originates from your provisioning server, which automatically pushes firmware updates to phones. If the server is configured to push a faulty or incompatible firmware version, phones will get stuck during the update process. Understanding these root causes helps you approach the problem systematically, whether it's corrupted firmware, problematic updates, expansion module conflicts, or server configuration issues, each has specific troubleshooting approaches that we'll cover in the next section. Now, let's walk through the systematic troubleshooting steps to fix your Yealing phone stuck on initializing. We'll start with the simplest solutions and progress to more advanced techniques. Step one is the hard reset, also called power cycling. This simple step resolves many initialization issues by clearing temporary software glitches. Step two, verify your network connection. The phone needs a stable network connection and valid IP address to complete initialization. Step three, access recovery mode. This special mode allows you to reflash corrupted firmware. The method varies between newer and older phone models. Step four, obtain the correct recovery files from Yealink support. This is crucial. Using wrong recovery files can damage your phone permanently. Step five, update firmware via USB drive. Format a USB drive to FAT32, copy the recovery files, and follow the recovery mode instructions to reflash your phone. Step six, factory reset as a last resort. This will erase all your personalized settings and configurations, so only use this when other methods fail. Step seven, check expansion modules. Sometimes expansion modules can prevent proper initialization, Try disconnecting any attached modules to isolate the issue. Step eight, contact Yealink support for advanced assistance. If all previous steps fail, professional support can provide model-specific solutions and advanced troubleshooting. Remember, keeping your Yealink phone firmware updated is crucial for stability and security. Regular maintenance prevents most initialization issues from occurring in the first place.